Hey guys, it's Matt here and I'm filming this from Berlin, Germany. Why am I in Berlin? Well, late last year there was an event that caught my attention. It caught the attention of many people in the running world. The BTC Track Night in Berlin that attracted athletes such as the Ingebrigtsens, who we've been requesting to come on our channel for some time now, hopefully in the future, Kili Hodgkinson, Matt Semtrowitz, and many of the world's best runners. I looked into it and I thought, this isn't a normal event. Like, what is going on at this BTC track night? So I figured out Berlin Track Club were behind it, and I got in contact with them, uh, more specifically Sven, one of the co-founders, and cut a long story short, I've been fortunate enough to work with them over the last couple of weeks in attending some of their training sessions to see what Berlin Track Club is all about. I was also fortunate enough to align this trip with the rollout of some of Nike's new shoes. So at the moment, they're testing the Nike Invincible 3 and the Vaporfly 3. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for, to show you guys what the team thought about the new rollout of the Invincible 3 and the Vaporfly 3. So I was fortunate to join a few workouts. This is the first one that it was snowing. It very rarely snows in Berlin, only probably less than 30 days a year. Uh, so we did have to face some snow, but it was good fun attending one of their track sessions. And you can learn more about BTC in this episode and also about what they thought about the, in this particular, Work out the invincible threes. And they said, Well, he is in that, that hospital because he fell. <laughs> Hey Sven, thanks for the invitation to the sure. Berlin Track Club workout. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling quite well. Yeah. It's um, freaking cold, as yeah, you can it's see, it's snowing. Cold. We were not planning that, and we are on a dirt track today, yeah. like some soft or a snow underground. Track. Yeah, <laughs> today it's just white snow track, and yeah, yeah. but welcome to Berlin. Yeah, Hope thank you. You. you guys are, well, at least most of your group are training for the Berlin half. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, um, like in the last couple of weeks, um, like at least a half of our team is training for the Berlin Half Marathon. Yep. It's always like a big race um, for yeah, most people in our team. And yeah, couple of the last couple of weeks were so quite good. It's roughly, it's not probably over half of the people here are doing Berlin. Yeah, I think we are starting with like 30 people yep. in the Berlin Half. Okay. And um, yeah, some really ambitious goals as well. Yep. Um, the fastest guy is not here today. Okay. It's Bjorn, my did brother. The, did the weather scare him off? Yeah, yeah, he's actually in Spain <laughs> training on a oh, long lucky track. Him. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. he's um, probably targeting around 66 or 67 minutes. Yep. Um, yeah, but we also have some other fast um, runners here, and I guess the fastest woman is targeting 75 minutes more or less. Okay, nice. Yeah. nice. And Berlin Track Club is known uh, more or less globally, even in Australia, it's well known. Ah, uh, really? Uh, yeah, so I'm curious to know when did you first get involved in Berlin Track Club? How long has it been around for? Yeah. And uh, maybe a few things about how people go through the process of joining, all these yeah. things. I'm super curious. So okay. We spoke a little bit about this on the, on the way, but uh, I'd love for you to share a bit more about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my brother and me founded it um, in 2019, so we are in our fourth year. Um, back then we started it with like around 10 people and um, two coaches actually. Yeah. We were already speaking about this, that Brian Livingston was one of the athletes and coaches at that time. Yes. Besides that, there is Coach Benny um, who started it with us. Um, unfortunately, he's not there today, but you will meet him next week. Um, yeah, and we started it with like um, six guys and four girls. And back then we were like a really close knit group. We wanted to be like a family a friendship um, group. And then the goals became more and more ambitious. And we got like so many requests of people wanting to join the team. Yeah. And we were figuring out like, how do we do that? Because we are always speaking about, we want to show that running is a team sport, which is BTC is all about that. That as you can see, training together, improving together, and it worked so well for so many people. So we had like tons of requests through our um, application form on the website of people wanting to join the team. And we always needed to say like, no, we are like limited. We are ex kind of exclusive. We don't know how to handle this growth. And then um, I guess it was in the time of COVID 
like that we got even more requests and then we were like okay we can't say we have this vision and then we can't, uh, don't stick to it like we need to yeah accept more people yeah and then we opened it a bit and then so many people came inside like right now we are 60 or 70 members and it's amazing because everyone is like really like having this attitude of teamwork and pushing each other in training running pbs in um, races so it's really crazy yeah, yeah. yeah it's for some people who are not used to run with other teammates it's like a race every training yeah, like, yeah they are yeah. so competitive somehow yeah. <laughs> and yeah you need to teach them like calm down yes do it in the race yes yeah, wait, like. wait for race day for the yeah to go ahead. yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. very cool thanks for sharing so I, I was actually surprised to learn it's very new still, only a few years old, yeah. but it's globally pretty well known. People in Australia, US know about it, but you did recently have the event with uh, Jakob and some of the top yeah, runners the come along. Night. That was very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was um, like another dream of us was, or it's always like kind of bridging the gap between ambitious runners, like hobby runners and elite runners, yes. because often like there are those amazing athletes who run 26 minutes or uh, 27 minutes on 10k and normal hobby runners can't really relate to that you know it's like too fast and if you run 40 minutes or 36 minutes on 10k you're like it's insane but we wanted to create something that is kind of in between those two worlds yes. that people think ah he, they still have a full-time job or study and stuff like that but run fast yes and then like 31 minutes 32 minutes stuff like that or 30 minutes even some here um you can more relate to that yep. and um by doing that we want to inspire everyone to get faster and make running fast cool and the track night was exactly doing this as well because we had both worlds like the athletes uh, the elite athletes and hobby community runners and everyone were together on the track and Jakob in Inge Britzen paced some of them yeah. and it was just an amazing experience yeah. for everyone yeah that would have been really cool yeah. yeah and Jakob also did like a, a collaborator post with us yeah, he did. I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was quite funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. No, I, I saw some snippets of the event online. Uh, no, it looked really cool. Yeah. You guys are fortunate to also work with Nike, and some of you are trying the new Invincibles today. Yeah. So we were um, unboxing before. And there's also the Vaporfly 3. Yeah, there's the Vaporfly 3, which, um, like, some people were already testing them, but today on this track no one wants to wear it yeah. <laughs> because it's too nice yeah. and the track is too yeah too soft anyway yep. um, but yeah the new invincible um, I don't know how long it is around now but um, people were already testing it and are really happy like lots of people wear it today yeah I've heard it's also like combining the two worlds yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, really soft you can always train in them and um, yeah, it's nice for easy runs and for long runs. Yeah. But also, of course, for the warm ups here. Yeah. yeah so perfect. it's really, if you want to increase your mileage, this is a good shoe for yeah. like being soft and preventing injuries and stuff like that. Yeah. We'll ask some of the members in a minute what yeah, they yeah. think. They yeah. will have a better um, yeah. input there. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> cool. Aina, nice Aina. to meet you. You've nice been using the too. Invincible 3 in a colorway that yeah, I haven't seen yet. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a bit dirty outside, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's awesome. How are you finding them at the moment? Uh, uh, it's the very comfortable. It's the first time I try them. Yeah. Uh, and they feel so comfortable. This is the first time today? It's the first time today. Okay. And yeah, it's, it's just super comfortable. Before, I tried Invincible 1, yeah. but these are so much better. Okay. I'm really like... Can you just... Can you just I, I, I sometimes have a hard time just the difference between the, the different ones but what do you think is different about them for those? Yeah I just didn't have enough support for my four like four front like of the feet yep. in the first invincible but here I have support all over and yep. it's like really it has enough support it has enough 
like passion and everything is just right. Do you think, they're, do you think they're light, heavy in the middle or? No, it's just it's just good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah perfect. And yeah. what would you use them for? What sort of training do you think? I know it's only uh, your first time today, so it's a big yeah, question. I would but... definitely <laughs> use them for just like easy easy running, easy running and also just like maybe some tempo runs, yeah. but not so fast. Yes. It's not for the fast work, but for other uh, any other training for a long run, it's just yeah. perfect. Yeah, perfect. I really like that color. Yeah. Oh, thanks for sharing. Appreciate that. Ich muss dann halt nur noch schauen, dass es kann dann sein, dass ich vielleicht mit Nela, you are training with Berlin Track Club and you're a middle distance athlete. Yeah. Yes. And you're preparing for the outdoor season coming up yes. soon. I'm very much looking forward to it. As you can see, it's uh, yeah. yeah, not ideal conditions, but I think all the winter training is just going to make me tougher for the outdoor season. Yeah, for sure. And so you'll start racing, I guess, in June? Um, yeah, I was thinking of doing some early races in May just to get, yeah. it, uh, to get it done, get in the shape, because I find for middle distance it's very nice to have a few races to get into shape before the big events. For sure. So that you get a little bit used to the lactic acid and uh, the feeling of racing. Yes. And you will train with the, the squad today, like the, the longer session with them, or will you do your own thing? Um, no, I'll be training with the squad. I think uh, it's very nice to have a big group going with. Um, also, some endurance won't hurt. I prefer the endurance aspect to the 1500. I'm not a big sprinter, so okay. I'll work on my strength to yeah. make and lastly, sure I get any, it. Any specific goals this year? or? Uh, um, so have fun, crush my PBs, yeah. and uh, maybe get some other people from the long distance team to try out some middle distance sessions and yeah. races because I think it's very fun to have people joining from different workouts. For sure, cool. All right, hope you have a good workout. Thank you. Eric will run the Berlin half. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he recently ran a good 10k. Yeah, like, um, yeah. Uh, 31, 38. Nice. Yeah. That was your personal best? Yes. It okay. is, yeah. With, Surprising. Yeah, with a weekly mileage off. Yeah, 40 to 50k. 40 to 50k? Yeah. For just, uh, just the quality work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you will run the Berlin half. Do you have a goal at this point, or yes. we'll see how you go? So, yeah, sub uh, 70 would be nice, and moonshot sub uh, 69. Okay. So let's nice. see. Yeah. yeah. Do you know which races you'll use yet? Have you tried the Vaporfly three or? Uh, no. Not no, yet. Not yet. Coming no. soon. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah maybe ne yeah next Saturday. Okay. Perfect. It's like a really special session, uh, like the, I guess one of the last fast sessions for the Berlin half. Yep. And yeah. Perfect for trying some race shoes. Yeah. Nice, nice. But now you can do the session. <laughs> so we haven't spoken yet about the workout. What is the what is the workout today? Um, we will like um, Coach Benny did like a session that everyone can do today: the middle distance group and the Berlin half marathon group. And once a week, um, we do like a session that is faster than half marathon pace. Yeah. So during the week, we mostly do like marathon and half marathon um, speed yeah. and today it's like 10 times 400 meters in 3k pace uh, or 5 to 3k pace um, then a bit of recovery 10 times 200 meters in 1500 meter pace yeah. and then for the people who do the half marathon will um, end again with 5 times 400 meters yeah. And the middle distance group won't do this one, like okay. the last five. So the middle distance group will just do the ten fours, ten twos. Yeah, yeah. and um, the yeah, Flo is also kind of um, yeah, coach Flo. He's right now explaining it to yeah. the team. Yeah. And um, the last five tens four hundred is in mile pace. Okay. Yeah, for the marathon and half marathon people to get the legs going. Yeah, I guess yeah. they don't even know what their mile pace is. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the marathon runners just run fast. <laughs> How fast are you guys rolling in the 400s in roughly? Oh, three minute pace at the moment. Okay. So it's supposed to be 5k pace. Yeah. More or less. Also, oh, for me, it's three, three minutes at the moment. Yeah. 72. Oh, oh, you have to? Yeah, 72. Yeah. But it's not exactly 400, so. Oh, okay, okay. It's a slightly slow, uh, yeah. short. Yeah. Project Max. And we have to take care of the surface, obviously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 Yeah
400? Yeah, or oh, still 200? Cheers. How are the invincible trees on the snow? I think it's good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do they feel okay running at this pace? It's quite fast pace. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Very comfy. Yeah. Getting there. Getting okay, there. Good work, guys. Hey, boys, doing? Good. Yeah. Not too bad. A bit tough today. With her conditions. Yeah. Five more to go. Spikes are definitely helpful. Yeah, yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, what are those? No, just the dragonfly. Dragonfly. With a normal yeah. six millimeters, I think. Yeah. Probably quite helpful in this. Better than yeah. the flat shoes. Yeah. yeah. So five four hundreds to go. Five four hundreds to go. And these are supposed to be at mile pace, is that right? It's supposed to be mile pace, but I think due to the conditions today, we'll slow down a little bit. So yeah. somewhere between the two hundreds and the four hundreds yeah. from the beginning. Okay. Cool. We'll see how it goes. Right. Are we good to go? Okay. Cool. Fine. Fine. Okay. Sixty-six. Sixty-five. Sixty-five in the snow. Drink fly. <laughs> You're also carrying extra weight with all the mud on your back. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> oh wow. You're all down your neck. But if you can run in those conditions here. Yeah. Berlin half will be easier. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Jug in the park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 15. Last one. Last one. Last one's for the doctor. Here we go. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. No, I, I go <laughs> Try to go faster then. Three, two, one, let's go. Last one? Yeah. No. Uh, two right. more. Two more. Uh, okay. Three, two, one. Do it. Ooh. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Nice. Hey, tough. Oh. Hey, how today? <laughs> Pretty windy too. Oh, that was okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. For me, yes. Hey, team. This is the new, the new colorway of the 
actually the old one. Okay. So that's really good, yeah. But I like them for uh, for hundreds and two hundreds. So yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe not in this condition. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, a good shoe. Will you do? Uh, so how many weeks until Bill and Half? Or how many days do we have exactly now? I think a little more than 20, 21, yeah. 22. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. Well, it should be twenty. 22. 22. 22. Three, yeah, three weeks, more than three weeks, yeah. 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 So yeah. Not, not too many more harder harder training sessions. No. Yeah. 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 Next week, next maybe day, uh, the week after, two, two weeks. Two more weeks of intense training and then yeah. some tapering. Yeah. Last week before, yeah. Let's see. So, guys, quick summary of the workout. How was it? Yeah. Feeling well, good going into the into the Berlin half. Yes. Yeah, we're going to join you on a few more workouts before then, but uh, 22 days to go. We have uh, some of the harder workouts. So, how do you feel? Yeah, pretty good actually. Yeah. On these conditions, but yeah, it was a good workout. Yeah. Um, yeah. Were you supposed to? You were supposed to do mile pace in the last 400s. Was it mile pace? Uh, maybe not. Do you know your but, mile pace? Um, <laughs> not really, actually. I yeah. didn't run the mile before, but uh, yeah. but it was 66, 67. Yeah. So. Nice. Pretty solid. Okay. I think we, we were able to hold the pace from 200s. Yeah. Uh, Roundabout. So yeah. yeah, that was pretty good regarding okay. the conditions <laughs> yeah. we were running in. <laughs> and you guys have been preparing for Berlin Half for some time now, I guess. Yeah. So it must be nice. You've only got a few more hard workouts to go, and then it's time to, yeah, it's time to race. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. And so for you, what would be uh, a goal for you? Sub 69? Um, sub yeah. 70? Maybe sub 70. Yeah. And if I feel good, maybe sub 69. But Let's see on the day. Yeah. And yourself? Yeah, I will try to run a 71 time. Yeah. Last year I ran about 73 minutes okay. and a few seconds. So, okay. yeah, slightly conservative goal and then let's see how, that, how it goes. Cool. Yeah. Right. By the way, Tim, he improved so much in the last last year actually, right? Yeah, one and a half years I think. Yeah, since I insane. Yeah. And what do you what do you boil that down to? Consistency in training or I think so and yeah. training in the team as well. So yeah. before I before joining the team I always run alone. Yeah. And especially <laughs> workouts like like the one today. To do, it will be hard to do this <laughs> today. Be pretty hard, yeah. yeah. It also helps to be a machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks for letting me join today.